All right, as John was saying about this question, there are two unknowns. Other than the unknown y, which is a variable, there's also an unknown a. So we cannot actually make use of factorization method. No zero product. Can we press calculator? Cannot. So the only other method is using completing the square. But treat the a like a number, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to half the value of a. The idea of using completing a square, like I say, is you have completed a square, you have the constant to the right-hand side of the equal sign, I can make use of square root on both sides. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to simplify my right-hand side of the equal sign. When you square it, you square both the numerator as well as the denominator. Am I right? Okay, we are almost there. But in order for us to get rid of the square, I must square root on both sides. But when I square root, what must I introduce? Ah, so finding the solution for y means I need to make y the subject. And there you have it. This will be the solution. Let's double check the question. They say, write the solution for y in terms of a. Is my solution all in terms of a? Okay, then I am done. All right, it's a thinking question. And the only idea that we had was we made use of completing the square and square rooting on both sides.